The key witness to a strip club crime is an MP. Hey, it's Susan. Welcome to today's episode of War Crimes Unit or the Black Operation. Nice to see ya. Boy, I'm so fucking goddamn mad. I can't even, you know, I, I just can't even make this video. I just want to take this tablet and I want to fucking goddamn throw it. <sighs> Goddamn shit. I, like, I went, I told the damn sheriff's office today it was find some way to affect my employment. Did I not tell you, sheriff? You know, goddamn you people. You know, I entrusted you to protect me, sheriff, but I can see I made a mistake tonight. Pulling a Dolly Parton from the best little whorehouse in Texas. But goddamn you, sheriff. I entrusted you to protect me, and I can see I made a mistake tonight. I get all the way out to this damn red parrot so I could earn a ton of money so I can get the hell out of this fucking goddamn stupid United States of America and get my kids saved. And I get to the strip club and there's 50,000 fucking goddamn reasons as to why the manager won't talk to me. And then, you know, for some reason he was dodging me and then they were telling me I couldn't dance at the club. Now the whole reason I fucking went out here, Sheriff is because when I went to the club a week and a half ago, they told me I could dance, I could come anytime, all I needed was this damn sexually oriented business license from your damn freaking department. Which cost me 50 bucks, and not to mention I spent $12 for some passport photos that I don't even think that I fucking needed, because your people took my photo there. So what the hell did I spend $12 for passport photos when you guys were taking my photo for this damn SOB card that is now no good? And now I am losing money tonight, right now. Money that I need to get these kids rescued under international law. And this is your damn fault. So let me go over the fuck-ups of the sheriff's department nationwide. I have a missing kid today, sheriff, and it's mainly because of your damn jackass fucking friends in Humboldt County, California. Now when Homeland Security and I were going over this case back in March of 2005... I said to Detective James Mosaic and the Joint Terrorism Task Force, DHS detective... I said, wait a minute, detective. The Humboldt County, California Sheriff's Office ran him for warrants. They said no warrants found. Detective Bosaic replies, he did have a warrant out in Texas. It was just under a different name. So nice job, fuck up of the Sheriff's Department number one. Fuck up of the Sheriff's Department number two, Clark County, Nevada. My attorney, Joan Gallegos, had have my ex served in Clark County, Las Vegas, Nevada, by the constable, which is part of the sheriff's department. Now, did the sheriff's department in Clark County, Nevada, do anything about this uh, this warrant that apparently exists out of Texas? No. Fuck up of the sheriff's department number two. I'd still have my son if two sheriff's departments wouldn't have fucked up royally. And now I got this act. I warned you. I freaking warned you. And now this is affecting my money. And guess what? who was a key witness when I walked in the club. A guy stopped me and started talking to me, and he was telling me, um, you know, uh, different things about the strip club industry. And, and the big thing that he told me is that he was former military police. <laughs> Once an MP, always an MP. <laughs> Sheriff, in the world of spies and espionage, someone's always watching this is going to the Hague. Today's episode of War Crimes Unit or the Black Operation. Keep your stun gun, machine gun, AK-47, or any other automatic weapon handy. There's real criminals and terrorists out there. Not me. I'll see you next time.